Okay, I want to go over the stat cards. Um, you know, again, they may be making changes on them, but uh, I think generally they'll be the same. But instead of looking at the screen like this, I'll um, show you some of the ones from the old Quick Strike. But I think it'll be very similar. So let's go over the stuff that's on there, okay? Uh, one thing I've done is I've put my cards in card holders. So you can slide them in there. Oh, and write on them with a dry erase or grease pencil or something. And so, like for I was saying, when you're battling, you could use one color as you're in a turn and then change it to the black or whatever to show it's a permanent damage. You can make notes on it. I would get a different one than these next time. These are really slick. Too slick. It looks like I left them on there too long. I'd have to get something to clean that off. But um, but you need to, it's nice to have they're two-sided. But some of them have a little different surface. So that's a, a nice thing you can do. And I, th I think they're going to publish PDFs and all that with different eras and changes here. Battle. So you'll notice on the, um, well, maybe you don't remember, but on the other one, they're going to have a type. So it'll be type, size, move, and skill. Um, and the type will be like, this will be battle mech or BM. Mm, bad apostrophe, but that's okay. It'll be fun to say, hey, have your, get your BM. Oh. Um, so it'll be a type, um, like probably vehicle or tank or something, and aircraft or aerospace or something. I don't know what their abbreviations will be. But basically, let's just go over what. So these four cards and I think these are all the ones I downloaded officially from them there, there are some that are mixed in my collection that are from fan made ones so hopefully these are all but generally so that tells you your size and that's going to affect you know if, how hard they are to hit and, and all that movements in inches um, if it's a jump it'll say that so that means they can jump again they may Anyway, and then the skill is your how easy your heart how good you are at shooting so remember the modifiers are all pluses and you want to get that number equal to or higher so you know if you have a skill one you're like the best pilot there is and a four would be the worst pilot there may be a it may go higher or it may go down zero but I don't think so but you know I think you average three is what you start out with so it's not too easy to hit stuff um, Real quick thing on uh, the skills. So in the campaign rules, um, again, these may change because this is a preview copy uh, of the preview rules. Um, you have a campaign system called the Chaos Campaign System, which I've played before, um, but you can have skill advancement. So that piloting skill can get better. So that's pretty cool. And then you can see the other things you can do on there too. Okay, let's look at this dragon that I've written all over here. So these are your weapons and the damage done. So you do two points of damage at short range with a zero modifier to your roll. At medium range, it's a two plus two modifier and you do two points of damage. And then long range, it's a four modifier and two points of damage. Um, let's see how they explain that in here. So I was going to find out the range here so I could tell you what that is. Pardon the shaking. So short range is up to 6 inches. Medium is 6 to 24. And long is 24 to 42. That modifier is always going to be the same on every unit. Okay? But you can see the difference here. It's They aggregate all the weapons that are on your typical ones. And you can build out all kinds of different ones and get slightly different numbers. So you can see the Atlas here does 2, 2, 2 but then you see all these other special weapons. We'll get to that in just a moment. So then you have your overheat value, and what this allows you to do is apply extra damage to your shooting. So, let's see here. None of these guys have an overheat value. Interesting. I'll have to look into that, why that is. So basically what you can do is you can add it to your attack, the number of damage points you can add to its attack in exchange for suffering an equal amount of heat. So if there are a 1 in there, I could apply a 1, and I'd go up 1 on the heat scale. And of course, then, this is your heat scale. Uh, 
most of them all have the same amount so you can you'll suffer three and then when you get to your fourth one you'll shut down and I don't know all the rules for that but I'm sure you can cool off by not doing anything okay now you have your armor and structure so when you get hit for ever many points let's say let's say the atlas shot at the dragon and did two points of damage he'd go armor armor and then when you do that then you start going into your structure and then once that's done all your structures are knocked off you're done so you can see the difference the dragon has five of each and the atlas has quite a few more the spider has that um, and then you go down to your specials I don't know all these abbreviations right offhand um, I believe that's indirect fire but, you know most of them all have that but then if you go over here to the atlas it's got a lot of extra I think it's long range missiles uh, auto cannons and I think you can combine these with this I'm not totally sure but it, so you can do more damage because you think oh my gosh the atlas it should destroy things but it's you know it's armor lets it last now so that's that. Oh, you can also turn it over. And I'm assuming they're going to do this. It tells you what all their armament is and all that. And this is more for, um, I guess, fluff. You can identify it if you have an ID on your miniature. Miniature. So that's how the cards work, generally speaking. All right. See ya. Yeah, and I almost forgot the point value. This is a much debated thing. All these things are debated in the Battletech world. But I'm not <coughs> going to worry about it too much because I don't know enough about the history. and the, you know, you, If you buy strategic operations, and I don't know if they change their formulas for Alpha Strike, but you can figure out how to calculate these if you have units. And I didn't see that in the rules, but anyway, I don't know if they're going to revise those or not. But anyway, but there are points values. So my this group, but this lance I had here was the lance is what they call four mechs together 8 and 12 is 20 31 43 so I'd have a 43 point lance alright, that's that, see ya